Capricorn Day. This is the second reading I'm doing for you today. I've time traveled into September, but I am sitting in the month of June. And in spite of everything that's going on in the world, or, or what I know is coming, um, the, ama the readings have probably been the most amazing to me since I began this channel. So this is your autumn overview uh, forecast. I just finished the September one earlier today, and I will finish with the September love reading. This helps for energies not to cross over on signs, just dedicating a day. So um, looking forward to this. Cards have been pre-shuffled to save time. Let's see what these energies are bringing in. Oh, well, this showed up in your last reading, didn't it? This is the overall energy, and this is going to affect all of the cards that are laid out. We have Justice. Eight of Water. The Hermit. And the Messenger of Water in the top row. Four of Air. <clears throat> and at the heart of your reading is the Page of Earth, along with Four of Water. The Sun. Transformation. The Fool. The Empress. And Patience. The whole bottom row is Major Arcana. Two major arcana here and one here. Uh, an offer of love coming in that's going to make you incredibly happy. And to be fair, because I, I'm, I function better in the spiritual world. Uh, this very well could be coming from above. So when we're blessed from you know, that universal overall feeling of good health, good peace of mind, good, good everything is, uh, this is about intervention, spiritual intervention, angelic, your higher consciousness. This is Sagittarius energy. So we have fire on water, water on fire. This is an offer of love coming in. One that is going to just, this is the happiest card in the deck. But patience. Well, in the September reading, it was, uh, there was a challenge presented to you. The justice here seems to be to do with healing and transformation. This is Scorpio energy. This is about death, but death means trans transformation. One energy changing into another energy, right? Has everything to do with healing, something healing. Libra energy, Major Arcana, the Justice card, the number 11, the balance, the twinning, the reflection of yourself in another. I beg your pardon, Capricorn. It's morning, it's June, so it's like allergy season. And I did take some allergy stuff but um it's it's just starting to kick in we have you walking away um needing some time alone maybe this is self-love capricorn as well there is love coming towards you but this should include self-love not to be narcissistic or anything um Going into hermit mode means you're in your thoughts, you're in your mind, you're in your left brain. Eight of water. Messenger of water. That's a nice, you know what? That was showing up 
that energy of balance because we have these two cards justice and hermit bringing balance on the left brain this is right brain water this also is right brain empress there's some um, this is the autumn. You're going to see some wonders here. I wonder if that's when the uh, UFOs show up. I mean, you know, the, the disclosure or contact or whatever it is people are uh, gestulating. You're taking a leap of faith into this brand new energy. So on your personal, individual self, you will know this energy, where it's coming from, through a person, through a child perhaps, through a lover, a love offer. There is an offer coming in that is not just about love. Maybe it's just one you really love an offer coming in because this is and this could also be um whatever this offer is it could also be like a peace offering or an idea saying um if we just try a little bit the return on that investment of energy is going to pay well pay well in money pay well in luck Pay love and spiritual growth. Uh, pay off. This left brain thinking. Oh my goodness, look at the hermit here and the empress here. This left brain thinking, right brain. Right in the middle. You're dealing with some perception. You're scrutinizing in your left brain. If this indeed, this this huge pearl, is it perception that it's a big pearl? Because it sure looks beautiful and no one wants to be duped, right? There seems to be a sense of knowing here, Capricorn, and Libra keeps coming to my mind. But we do see Pisces and Leo and Sagittarius and Aries and Scorpio and Virgo. The whole gang is here. Now, the overall energy, before I start clarifying, the overall energy, the five of air, these are obstacles. Uh, but we see you in perfect balance. So, let's have a look here. Whoops. Yep. King Fisher, King of Arrows. Cold, calculating, done deal. This is where you pivot. <laughs> you just knock everything off that is blocking you. Perhaps it isn't even you doing it. Perhaps it's that intervention from above. Circumstances take place and something is taken care of for you doesn't involve emotion it's just a matter of fact i believe this was i mean i've had a couple of hours to um uh, wash the energies from the first reading i did for you today but it does reflect in a sense what i saw in september in september the green man who knows what october and november october september october november will bring when i get there i can hardly wait i i love doing it this way we have the green man we have the green man this is an intact efficient blessed kingdom home life home life 
secure, balanced. And this is in your first corner of this reading. The Ace of Arrows, the breath of life. Well, this is like the walking away card, but it's not indicating that you're walking away from the breath of life. It's a finalization that you have completed this leg of your journey. And this is all that you've gathered. Two, uh, uh, ten is completion, so you have two, two cups going for the Holy Grail. And there's your start, the breath of life, into this new life, this new way of being. Two of Stones challenge. So I don't need to spend a lot of time here. This is about a decision. So this is where you withdraw the Hermit card. This is where you withdraw and do your left brain thinking and navigating. And this is a challenge. And how do I settle it over? Is it emotion or logic? You know, trying to balance your brain for the what is the right thing to do or what is the right step to make wow we are bookending you now look at that look at that three out of the four cards are major arcanas the green woman and the green man in the two corners There's, yeah, you're transitioning. It's you, Capricorn. You're the one that's dying to an old self or the old self is dying away. This is birth, rebirth, nurturing, protection, wisdom, abundance, Balance, we see, you know, the dark and the, and the light. Balance, balance, balance. What a surprise, Capricorn, because, I mean, I am suspecting that September is going to be a heck of a month on the globe global stage. Um, I've been seeing this unfold. I mean, I'm in June, but I know we're... We've entered the, the peak of the ugly, the big ugly. And how humanity is reacting to this? When I read these cards for each one of the signs, oh my goodness. I am just so encouraged in humanity again. So here we have the six of bows on this. It, it's this is the healing wheel, obviously. This is a healing card. So this decision, this breath of life. For some of you, it's about caring for a child. Rescuing a child. Ten of Vessels, happiness. Wow, okay. Isn't that lovely? Ten of Vessels, happiness. And there's your happy card there too. Look, it's it's stopped right on healing. Oh my goodness. If, if I were to read this in Heaven's Realms, I would be saying, you know, you're ascending. Well, maybe you are. Queen of Stones, Ace of Vessels, Ascending didn't even make, wasn't even the right word. It's difficult sometimes to articulate in words what energies feel like. So, the Queen, she's protecting the home, protecting the family. This almost looks like Capricorn, that you're a little bored. You need a little action. Mm 
perhaps you're perceiving a danger that isn't there or that there's a danger there that you're not perceiving. The Queen of Stones is the same as the Queen of Earth. Mother Earth, protective. And the Ace of Vessels is new love or refreshed love. And even if it's new love, it's both new love and refreshed love. Rebirthed. Rebirth. For those of you who are in commitment, this is solid leveling up, removing obstacles with clarity, piercing through those obstacles. This transformation. Did these two cards land together in the other reading? I'm not sure, but I'm feeling that same energy I saw before with these two. Because when it first happened, I thought it was so strange. So this would be like the transformation of love, like a rebirth of a love. Or this transformation is just done so lovingly and carefully. Four of Bows celebration. It's almost like you jump into some um, healing pool. Happiness, celebration, breath of life. Family expanding, perhaps, even. Knight of Arrows, the Hawk. Oh, boy. This is about being alert to dangers. There's energy racing towards you. The Hawk also has such good eyesight that could see, you know, because it's, it's up there, the horizon... You can see further on the horizon. So is this really, at this point, Capricorn, do you see on the horizon what is coming, what is birthing? What is to be protected and cherished? Coming to a decision in an autumn near you. Nine of Stones tradition. Boy, that's good news. That's good news. Because this tradition, we're hitting the heavenly realms, ancestors, generations before you, the DNA that has brought humanity and you as an individual to this point. That is very beautiful energy, Capricorn. It's there for you to access. That's what I'm seeing in the fall, autumn months for you. So possibly the tradition here, Capricorn, if this is the autumn months, is this like your first thought of preparing for something traditional like Christmas or Thanksgiving or something special coming in that time? Waters of life, the green woman. Oh, is this a, is there a child coming into the family? You know, as someone you know, bringing a child in. Maybe it's this child is of some importance. Yeah, protect our children for sure. It will be interesting when I do your September love reading now to see if there's reflections back on here to clear this one up for me or clear it up more for you. Let's do a quickie love message or advice. And then I'll have a coffee break and then I'll do your love reading. 
Oh, I'll probably walk in the garden. Then I'll do your love, love reading for September. All right, Capricorn, my friends. Wow, this has been a very interesting autumn forecast. I think your strength will be needed even in the small ways of your day-to-day -day life that changes the world. And I mean, we are transitioning. Um, I've been calling it Planet Expando. It, everything is expanding now. All right. A message for Capricorn regarding love or, or advice. Let's just take those. There's an astrology page attached to this reading. All of these readings have an astrology page attached to them. That's in a link in the description below. And don't worry, it's free. Pay attention to the red flags. Passion. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Okay. In relation to this reading... Heart to heart conversations, passion. Pay attention to the red flags. God. Do the right thing. If it doesn't feel like it's the right thing, pay attention. Don't let your passions get the best of you. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Both need to be willing and reciprocal. I'll see you at the love reading, Capricorn. And I hope that helped. To my subscribers, God bless you. And for those that haven't, please do. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.